Campus and community are invited to the Beckman Center of the National Academies of Sciences and Engineering on March 4, 2011, starting at 9 a.m. for an all-day conference, Enhancing the Future of the California Coast. There will be case studies in the afternoon on protecting the Orange County coast. This is the eighth conference in the series Toward a Sustainable 21st Century and is free and open to the public, but space is limited so RSVPs are requested. Information on how to do this can be obtained by visiting the UCI website for the Newkirk Center for Science and Society. The web address and telephone number are included at the end of this short introduction to the case study portion of the conference. Hi, my name is Chad Nelson. I'm the Environmental Director at the Surfrider Foundation. The project that I'm going to be talking about was a proposed toll road that threatened a world-famous surfing reserve called Trestles. Trestles is fed by the San Mateo Creek and is one of the most pristine watersheds left in Southern California, and the proposed toll road was going to destroy open space, a state park, and also impact this, uh, this amazing surfing area. The Surfrider Foundation and a coalition of partner NGOs really played a critical role in this campaign to bring the force of the public and the citizens to the decision makers. Um, the Surfrider Foundation and our partners um, got, ha, brought the largest attendance to any Coastal Commission meetings ever. Thousands and thousands of people attended two different hearings to make it clear that the, the project as proposed was unacceptable and that the, the impacts to our coastal environment were, were more than they could uh, tolerate. My name is Paul Horgan. I'm with the Bolsa Chica Land Trust. The threat to the Bolsa Chica was that there would be 4,884 homes built on the wetlands and mesa, uh, and that would include a thousand homes actually on the wetlands themselves. And the wetlands, of course, for decades have been regarded as a, a precious asset of the community and even beyond. The bird life, even to a person who doesn't know much, is absolutely extraordinary. There are raptors, there are uh, birds in the marsh, there are hundreds of species of birds, many of which uh, come only to Bolsa Chica during certain periods of time as I understand it. I mean there's extremely, there's uh, rare bird sightings at the place and it's a very a large area, um, roughly, roughly 1,300 plus acres of, of wetlands and marsh and this again attracts birds from everywhere. It's sustainability. And from, I think that the most important thing in the future about the Bolsa Chica and, of course, the areas like it in the Southern California coast is whether we're going to uh, continue to not recognize those special places like Bolsa Chica and when we do not recognize it, the effects of that. My name is Harry Helling. I'm the president and CEO of the Crystal Cove Alliance. The project that I'll be speaking about on the day of the conference is a model um, for how all of the agencies that work to protect Orange County's tide pool life have come together to work under the name of the Orange County Marine Protected Area Council. And what we've done over the last dozen years as a, as a group to collaborate to move forward on education, enforcement, and monitoring. We have 42 miles of coastline in Orange County and much of that is very sensitive tide pool habitat and I can say in addition to all the things that you have mentioned about um, Bolsa Chica and, and toll roads, um, I can say with certainty that with the growth of the population and the increased use of tide pools and all the increased pressure from development that our tide pool populations would have been scoured by people mostly well-meaning people um, not understanding the sensitive environment and taking one thing after another and we would have tide pools with less diversity, less health, and less ability to survive any problems such as storms and global warming. Uh, my name is Sunny Jiang. I'm a professor at Civil Environmental Engineering here at the UC Irvine. 
My research area is focused on environmental microbiology. More specifically, I'm interested in coastal water quality, how that quality relates to human health and ecosystem health. Um, my work has been uh, supported by Coast uh, Keeper um, and uh, other organizations such as Surf Rider Foundation and Citizen Group actually support this type of research by collecting data, provide information, and to, um, for us to analyze those data and to provide uh, results and to guide the policy decisions on coastal water quality and human health. The non-governmental group have been a tremendous support for our work. Um, some examples such as the coast, uh, coast keepers, they have been working with us to collect water samples from different locations and then they uh, delivered the sample into the lab for analysis and then we uh, report the results and those interactions not only provide scientific data and also um, provide educational tool to the citizens and so they they feel like they are part of um, coastal environmental protection. The other work we have worked, um, the other group we have been working with are Surf Rider Foundations. They have a um, illness report database and basically all the surfers and go on to their website to report their uh, encounter of polluted water and then potentially getting sick from that. And then we look at their 10 years of data and using those data, we're able to um, develop a very interesting trend regarding coastal water quality and human health risk from exposure to contaminated water. My name is Gary Brown. I'm the president CEO of Orange County Coast Keeper and the Inland Empire Water Keeper, uh, which are nonprofit environmental organizations. We advocate for, for clean water. So therefore, uh, a lot of our program is, is uh, backdropped around better regulations, better enforcement, how cities act in, in treating stormwater runoff, how the state acts. And, and basically the people of Orange County have said many times, and even in polls, um, you know, th this is a beautiful place to live, it's an expensive place to live, and uh, it's not acceptable to live with polluted waterways and posted and closed beaches. It's important to understand what citizens have done to bring life to the Coastal Act, and you can go to Bolsa Chica and imagine that there would be houses um, all throughout that area there. You can imagine if citizens weren't involved at trestles that there would be a toll road going right through the middle of our state park there. If citizens weren't involved through the Crystal Cove Alliance, we'd have an expensive resort instead of a completely publicly accessible historic district at Crystal Cove State Park. And finally, our tide pools um, throughout Orange County would have been diminished had it not been through the citizen actions um, organized through the Orange County Marine Protected Area Council.